Here's a great technique for animating a muzzle flash from a gun. Uh, I picked this up from Deuce Bennett a few years ago and uh, it saves a lot of time. So why don't we go ahead and dive right in. I'm going to move over to the camera view and I'm going to add a point light. And let's call this uh, muzzle uh, flash. Okay. And let's go ahead and make this a uh, lens flare. So in order to see the lens flare in OpenGL, um, first I'm going to go over to D for display options and use OpenGL lens flares. Yep, I'm going to activate that. Then I'm going to hit P for properties and let's turn on for this light, let's turn on lens flare. I'm going to give it a, a color other than white. Let's, I'm going to give it kind of a, a yellow tint to it. But I, I want to dress up uh, the lens flare just a bit. I'm going to turn off that central ring and uh, for the flare intensity, I'm going to drop that down to zero for right now, okay? Because we're going to we're going to control that based off of an audio file, which will sync right up to our animation um, when we're uh, when we're using audio. So first, let's load up an audio file. So I'm going to go over to the scene editor, and I'm going to load audio and I'm going to pick I grabbed a couple machine gun uh, wave files I'm going to use a uh, machine gun here okay and it loads it up into the timeline I load it up here first because I want to be able to, to see how long this is let's go 95 frame it looks like it ends around frame 90 okay but it doesn't actually start if I scrub through uh, I don't think you can hear on this recording just the way um, this recording software works but there is some audio here. It's the the clicking of the gun, like it's being uh, uh, like a clip is being brought in. But then at frame 40, and you can see these high peaks in the audio. That's the actual rapid fire of the machine gun, and then it goes and trails off to nothing. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna use this to drive our animation. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this, and let's go over to flare intensity. I'm gonna Go E for envelope. Okay, right now I've got it set to zero all the way across. I'm going to move over to modifiers and under add modifier I'm going to choose audio channel. Double click and now we have a place to load an audio file. So I'm going to load that same audio file that I have in my timeline and you can see uh, you can see that right here. So from zero to 90, we got all kind of stuff. Now we got stuff going on in the beginning and that's that noise of the, the clip being put in. It's a clicking noise. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna take care of that in a minute. But first what I'm gonna do is, well, if we want, we can turn filtering off and we get much higher peaks, which I think, uh, I think is gonna work best for us. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I like what's going on. I don't like what's here, and I want to um, get rid of these um, uh, these negative values in my graph editor. So I'm going to go over to Keys, and I'm going to Bake Selected Curves. Okay, so I've got it baked there. Then what I'm going to do is just right-click and drag and grab all of these keys, go over to my Curves tab, for the value hit zero okay so I want those to have zero intensity because remember this um, curve is showing us the muzzle flash intensity the that uh, our flare intensity for our light then what I'm going to do is just grab these points on top no noticing that this is zero value and the highest it goes is about 45 uh, and uh, that's not going to be bright enough for me. I want to kind of make this a little more extreme. So I'm going to kick this up to say uh, 145 and we'll see what happens there. But also we remember that at f around frame 40 is when we really start seeing, hearing the, the machine gun sound, like the actual firing. So I'm just going to get rid of some of these keys. Okay and that'll work. So this is where our actual machine gun firing is going to take place. So I'm going to just size this up a little bit. Uh, I can close down my light properties panel. I'm going to leave this up just so we can see the keyframes. We can also see it baked here in the timeline. I'm going to take the camera and move the light down so that we can just get a close-up shot of this. And as I move my time slider I can hear the audio of the clicking and then we've got the the muzzle flash 
as I scrub through. Okay, and it's going to be timed to my audio. Uh, it's going to be timed to my audio here, ready to go. So that's a really quick way of setting up a muzzle flash for a gun based on existing audio uh, that we can use, and it'll sync up perfect.